This video will discuss the speech communication process. The speech communication process is a useful model to help understand what goes on when one person talks to another. It includes seven elements, the speaker, message, channel, listener, feedback, interference, and situation. It all starts with the speaker. In public speaking, this is typically you. The speaker is the person who's presenting the oral message to a listener. The message can be affected greatly based on the speaking style of the speaker, the credibility of the speaker, and also how the speaker relates to the topic being discussed. The message is whatever the speaker communicates to someone else. The message includes both what you say verbally as well as how you say it non-verbally. The message is affected greatly by organization, vocal and physical delivery, and making sure that the non-verbal delivery doesn't distract from the verbal message. The channel is the means by which the message is communicated. So this might be the phone, or it could be, say, Snapchat, or even face-to-face. -face. The channel can affect the message in many ways. For example, if nonverbal expressions were important, but the message was delivered in audio only, then this is going to change the way that the message is interpreted. The listener is the person who receives the communicated message. Everything the speaker says is filtered through a listener's frame of reference, which is the total of his or her knowledge, experience, goals, values, and attitudes. No two listeners have the exact same frame of reference. To be effective, the speech needs to be audience-centered. So in order to be effective, you need to find areas that listeners find important and focus your speech there as much as possible. Feedback is the messages, usually nonverbal, sent from a listener to a speaker. When giving a speech, you might see smiles coming back from your audience, and this feedback influences the way that you as the speaker would continue on with your message, or any other type of nonverbal communication you can think of is going to affect the way that the message is being sent. Interference is anything that impedes the communication of a message. It can be external or internal. External interference would be something like sound outside, or having, say, a really hot or cold room where internal interference might be if your audience members are hungry, or let's say they're thinking about problems maybe in a relationship or something like that. The situation is the time and place in which speech communication occurs. All audiences have some expectation of what will happen during your speech or during any communication interaction. If the speech is, let's say, at a graduation, the audience will have an idea of what this should be like. Similarly, if the speech is in a classroom during an informative speech section of a public speaking class, then the audience will also have an expectation of generally what will happen. So again, the speech communication process is a useful model to help understand what goes on when one person talks to another, but it's also important to understand that this process is ongoing. Now we can have a starting point where we jump into the model and we can see where uh, our first message of examination can be sent, but also you can think of the speaker could be whoever is sending the message. So it might be, let's say you think of the audience as the speaker here, sending nonverbal messages, well then there's always a channel, there's always a listener, there's always feedback, and all of these components of the speech communication process are continually happening. So this is an ongoing process, and this is something that uh, is not just a one-directional model, it's something that's going both directions constantly, consistently. Um, and once you understand that, it's really a useful way to unpack different meanings of communication situations to see how everything that's being said how it's being said, and really what the content might be uh, are being really understood by your audience.